So arbitration is kind of the lead headline right now, Doug. Mark Stone asked for nine million. Let's start. With, you want to start with the sense to me? Yeah, but it, sorry, right. go ahead. Go, go. No, 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 go ahead. Everyone's kind of laughing at the nine million request from Mark Stone. Well, here, here's the thing. First of all, CC comes in. You know, I, I suspect it happened. I mean, they had the hearing. I think it's going to come in in the four and a half million range, okay? And and I think the sends will be they what they come in at three and a half. He wanted six. I think it comes in in the four and a half range, and I think everybody will be happy with that, including the sends. But the, but the challenging one is Stone at nine, and uh, what they come in at five or something. So five, yeah. They 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 between me and you. I think they've got to get this deal done before it goes to arbitration. I think the Sens have got to pound away, and I guarantee you they're working it tonight, trying to get a deal done so this does not go to arbitration. And, and you know, the nine million is one thing. So let's say he comes in at six and a half. Let's say he comes in at seven. Whatever it comes in at, the story is more that it's an unrestricted free agent come next year. And they that's a, with Duchesne as an unrestricted free agent, with Stone as an unrestricted free agent, Carlson unrestricted, uh, not a good situation. So I, I guarantee you they're grinding all night trying to get Stone done on a long-term deal. And if not, then they go to arbitration and he walks in a year. That's not, that's not good. Is there a way, though, that Mark Stone might just look at this entire situation and say, all I want is the year because this has been yeah. so ugly over the last little while? It, you know what? That, and that's the frightening part. Right. But, you know, you still have to go in and negotiate as hard as you can to try to convince Stone that you're a cornerstone. We're going to get Duchesne done. We're not sure what's going to happen with Carlson. We've got some great young prospects coming to join this franchise. We can retool. We can get this going again in Ottawa. That's what they've got to sell them on. And they, they guys, they cannot lose Mark Stone, I'm telling you. Yeah, so I'm with you. To me, to me it, this is a touch and go. And uh, I know they're desperately trying to get this done before it goes to Arab. Are you still surprised Carlson's a member of the Sens at this point, Doug, considering all the talk we heard? It is surprising, but it's become a tough deal to do. I've, I've been told by you know, some pretty good sources that the offers aren't anywhere close to where they have to be. They're not good hockey deals. We've got, we, you know, how, how many times have you and I talked about, you guys and I talked about Bobby Ryan as part of this deal? Come on. If, if you want that, you're, you're not getting a deal. You're not getting a hockey deal done here. And that's a big, big mistake by them. They've got to get a hockey deal done because they've got to get great assets if they're going to move this guy. But you know what? Where does he go? Tampa does the big McDonough deal. That doesn't help. They get the, you know, obviously the big forward done. That doesn't help. You know, Stamkos is done. I mean, all these deals with Tampa, that knocks maybe them out of the box. Vegas, I'm not sure the Vegas deal is good enough to do it, uh, you know, because they'll take Bobby Ryan probably, so it's probably not a good enough deal. And, uh, I mean, is like, let's be honest here. Is Carlson a great fit in Vegas with that work ethic group, with that young you know they they want Theodore to become a real important guy. They've got you know they've got some pretty good young guys there. Is this guy the right fit for Vegas? I'm not sold that he is. Speaking of trying to put numbers together, uh, we heard from William Nylander yesterday at a charity event in Toronto, Smash Fest, that he wanted a long-term deal as opposed to the bridge. Does that make Dubas's promise the promise that he can get all three signed together tougher to do, Doug? Well, it, it makes it challenging because you know the bridge is the cheaper deal and and you wait you know you you bide yourself a couple of years before you have to pay them so him one you know obviously he wants a six-year deal they, well they all want eight-year deals and then they'll back it off a little bit you know so yeah. I, I think it makes it a little more challenging and and we haven't heard what Matthews wants yet and we probably all have a pretty good idea what range that's going to be and Marner, I'm telling you, Marner is the wild card, guys, because if he plays with Tavares or he plays with Matthews, and he's going to play with one or the other, I guarantee you that. He ain't playing with Bozak for sure. <laughs> yeah. So he's going to play with one of these two superstars, and he could be frightening. Uh, if Doug McLean, the GM, was looking at Nylander, Marner, and Matthews, obviously Matthews you got to sign. You can only pick two of the three. Money-wise, is it Marner or is it Nylander? It's Marner for me. Mm. And I and I, you know, I'm, I'm a Nylander fan, 
but I'm going Marner all day long and Matthews all day long. Uh, before we let you go, uh, you brought up the Knights. You brought up Jerry Gallant. Um, William Carlson, uh, that's an interesting one there. Uh, he scored a lot of goals. Uh, are you confident that he can continue to score a lot of goals and get to that, uh, that number that he wants? Well, he was at a you know 25 uh, percent shooting percentage according to the analytics guys yep. which you know it, it, that's one stat that is a pretty pretty not one but I mean one of many that they like to use that's a really good one you know it gives you a pretty good indication as to can he continue with that this guy's a player I had breakfast with Gerard last week and you know what um, he he loves this guy he thinks he's a hell of a player but I'll tell you what I'll tell you who he loves is Riley Smith with him Riley Smith right who he's been telling me for a number of years is one of the smartest players he's ever been around in the game. And what Riley Smith means to that team and reads means for Marcia. So, and also Carlson is, is huge. So, you know, he likes them. And now Stastny comes in that drops his ice time, a touch, you know, a one, two combo. I, I don't see Carlson with the same numbers, but he's a heck of a player. So what's he come in at? I mean, is he going to come in at five and a half, six? Probably. William Carlson, uh, third in the league in goals a season ago behind Alexander Ovechkin Seriously. and uh, Patrick Liney. Uh, 